أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم من جديد مع برنامجكم الأسبوعي برنامج إماراتي كما عودناكم في كل أسبوع نستضيف لكم خيرة من دولة الإمارات قصة نجاح أتتنا إلى الدولة منذ 30 عاما مستر كلاين جود أفترنون جود أفترنون سير We are so lucky to be here with you in Sharjah. Our team said to you, welcome in our program. It's our pleasure to have you all here. It's wonderful. We would like to know about yourself. Who's Klein when he comes to this country at the first time and what he's doing at this point? ceramics for almost nine years and uh, my experience over there was into purchasing so many different uh, products because the company was very big and it was growing so I was able to learn so much about what I should buy and what is needed for the company because it was always on urgent basis. So that gave me a whole insight of the UAE market and what I should search, what I should buy from abroad or locally, which gave me very much a thoughtful that, you know, someday I'm going to be able to start my own business and then succeed from there. So during our career to be an employee, then we choose to be an employer. We find ourselves contacting with a Japanese company. Yes. Japanese, we're talking about Japanese planet, we can say. Yes, exactly. They have everything different. So, how you reach this company? I left, uh, once I left RK Ceramics, and then I joined this company to work, you know, as a Japanese company. I had a good opportunity because the company was in Jabal Ali before, and uh, I was able to join there. And uh, in time past, the business was going down. Then we had to close Jabal Ali and move to Sharjah Airport Free Zone here in Safe Zone in 2005. And again, after four or five years, again the company was because we had we were overstaffed. And uh, as we were working, and uh, there was a uh, lots of payments to be paid to Japan and had to almost with the 2009-2010, the situations, yes. you know, what happened. Correction. We are almost to close. That's when with the, like we say, New Long Industrial, uh, the president, he visited and he asked me, can you take over and run this company? Uh, my question from him was, do you trust me? If you trust me, I then will I will do it. What he said? He said, yes, I trust you 100%. Yes, I said, okay, but we have to lay off many staffs. And I was one person who was here. I will sleep on a, you know, a desk. I won't even go home. I will sleep and I will work, work, work. And then it started everything to change. And we had so much of debt to give to Japan. It was, to be honest, to give you the correct amount, it's more than half a million dollars. Today, from 2010 to 2023, we have already paid and we have sufficient stocks. And uh, I, to say I'm very happy because I have lots of support from Japan by names there are so many managers and directors who are helping and it is we are here so your hard work will never go on if you have a good manager that he can see how much you are working exactly yes so great when we talk about the bags of rice or sugar that everyone see it in his yes. home and everyone start to try to take out the type from <laughs> exactly. inside and he tried to not destroy it exactly so nobody asked himself from where we get these materials Let's talk about the material that you have. This is, this is what it is. This is what 
you know to be innovative in everything even our children they touch something if they can you know understand what it is wow. some day they are going to be you know entrepreneurs in such a way right. because these products the bags that is made out of polypropylene mm-hmm. so like we have companies in saudi arabia and all produce this even uh, abu dhabi abu dhabi yes uh, so they produce this uh, and then this done in in a woven set no, no, yeah, woven machines, set yeah. into rolls and then they can also fix it onto a a conversion line which will cut and mm. stitch the bottom of the bag mm. and those bags are printed for different factories for you know packing of rice flour sugar Same fertilizers yes there, and uh, mainly for feed mills ah. we have very large feed mills in uae so much right. even in abu dhabi they have contacted us now so all these and then after filling the bags it is to close the bags right so there are you know there are different ways for powder it has to be folded right. and then stitched uh-huh. so all these so it all depends on the size of a factory so according to the factory they say oh we are going to make so many bags per hour so we give them that proper machine so our machines a, a normal machine can do about 700 to 800 bags per hour that's very large also animal food are used to yes animal food yes very much even into paper bags or pp one sets animal food is very big industry 83 years the age of the company long, uh, new long new long industry so this company japanese company trust you to start your career so now we want to pre- prove our trust yes we need to work hard we need to find a new customer we yes. reach for 10 percentage from your e market yes. it's not small amount or yes. say huge thing it when is talk about it Talking about 10, we're talking about the hub of the world, UEE. That's everyone here doing packaging, packing, yes. and sending over the world. Yes. How you handle your customers? We handle, they contact us, and we have, you know, we, we support them because the competition is such. Then it comes on to the price. So they want, should I buy here? They are, you know, all these. So we still want to support. We do not. try to make high profits we have brought down our prices in such a way so that we support the industry in uae you see so yes. we don't want them to go into any other country which is you know local material and buy it so we yes they say mr klein can you do this we say yes this is the support that we give for the local industry by reducing our price and making sure that they have what they want in timely basis all this gold yes our machines are gold as for mr yes. uh, <laughs> isam yes all this gold it means that the old company need to sustainable to be in the top during the challenge in the market yes his highness sheikh mohammed he mentioned in his book it's hard to be number one but the hardest to stay on the same level yes. so how you can be always in the top and never go and step back in your business life it's uh, to say yes i understand the uh, uh, word of uh, being number one yes i have heard it several times from uh, his highness sheikh mohammed yes. and uh, very recently uh, although our nli president also you know aged he is appointing someone a young person from his family uh, to be the new president and he mentioned this when he came here last month UAE Dubai is very well known to have everything number one right. number one number one so he told me Mr Klein I want NLI to be this company to be number one in supporting the industries in UAE in the Middle East Africa wherever it is we have to be number one and it just struck me that that means he has done some homework on what his sign sheik mohammed is doing yes. so it was you know wonderful for me to get that into an idea and i told him yes we will work hard for this we are here because you are one of the best so when we talk about the top companies always emirati group are looking for them to share their knowledge in this community 
We have four employees, two of them, they are our kids. They are now big, start yes. handling business. And for sure, it's a family business. So how you create the family feeling between you and your employees? Yes. To have family working with you, you have to really push them to learn more and more. Sorry. The hard work, what I have put, I want them to understand. I can get job done from other staffs, but it's fairly going to be difficult with mm. the family. But I tell them what, how this industry, how the world works around. So if you can put your hearts and mind and work, we see the success of many entrepreneurs in UAE. You know, there's so many. The, it's, it's a land of opportunity where people have succeeded beyond imaginations. So this is something that I tell them, yes, be mindful. You can always enjoy life, but when it comes to business, right on time to work, everything has to be done in such a way. Customers first. We have a wonderful system of customs and clearance in this country, which I have not seen anywhere. When we import, export, it's marvelous. When we talk about this product, that they have many challenges. We can talk about European, we can talk about American, we can talk about African. But we will ask you if people looking for a new long or new long looking for people. People looking for new long. Because until this internet came, there was new long can walk in to any country into a factory and sell machine and come out. But now it is, you know, there are so many, so many fakes. Competitors. Competitors, fakes, which even uh, customers who buy does not understand. If we are saying ah. this is $10 and uh, they can buy in Far East, they can buy for $2, they will go for two. But they do not understand that by putting this $2 into one of these machines, they can ah. damage many spare parts. But many industries understand what is original, they go for it. And we are not, actually we don't see any of these other uh, yeah. brands as our competitors. Ah. Because we have the best and we support the customers with So best. we can say the quality is never changing new No, not at, all. not at all. What are you planning for the future? Future is, we have come up with this market uh, uh, ideas of, you know, having the, the reduced price, mm -hmm. very much reduced and support the customers because everyone says, talks about price. Ah. We talk about quality, they talk about price. So we work in such a way so that we support the industries because they are our supporters, we win our bread from them. So we support them even before they could pay. They say, oh, we do not have right now. We cannot pay. We'll pay. Yes. Let your factory run. So we give them what they want. So if you will make the prices cheaper and the quality will never change. Mm -hmm. So it means the profit will come down. Our profit is low. So we work out in such a way. We have staffs. We can pay. We can pay our rents. We are not looking for, you know, so we are looking... Big margin, big, small margin. Is small enough. margin, but support the industry. That's great. When we talk about UAE, we're talking about a country which open hand for everyone to come to find this opportunity. Many newcomers coming here, yes. who's looking for a job or even to invest for some businesses. Yes. What you will advise them before they come? Before they come, for them to understand that from different countries. Every day, there are new visitors coming in here. Mm -hmm. They want to look for jobs. And uh, I hear there are so many who are unable to find a job, are in trouble and you know, all this. But if somebody is coming to invest and to start business in this country, I myself will welcome them with open hands to say, yes, like I said, this is the land of opportunity. If you have the right idea, you will succeed. My wife is praying for you to success in your business. 
हु से इट फॉर यू और यू से इट फॉर हुम I said it to uh, Mr. Isam of Alpha General Trading yeah. because uh, you know he he sent me saying you know my friend I sold 125 machines within you know seven days <laughs> so I told him I it's in my mobile I said inshallah I said my wife is praying for your business to sell more machines okay you see so then he said oh please tell her thank you very much and i am also praying that you will have stocks and we i can buy no. and sell so you know uh, it's mean how strong the relation between you and your customers and how you can make them as a friend very much the thing is we not only write by emails but call them once in a way talk to them visit them invite them to uae come see us you are buying only this you know you are buying only this uh, portable machine look at the other products that we have and then you can market in your own countries so we educate them more and more because some are very comfortable okay i am handling this and this is enough so we educate them to understand what else they can do finally this country which have a concept you cannot find it over the world the peace and security starting from his hand Sheikh Zayed for sure he was yes. within Zayed age his hand started the first step and some of Zayed they make it number one in the world so what you would say for your leaders and government for all this opportunity that we have for me from my side you know it's a heartfelt congratulations you know it's it's the opportunities and and the environment that the leaders you know starting from you know his highness sheik uh, said to all the emirate uh, leaders it's it's wonderful it's you know it's it's a peaceful environment that we can live and work with our families and uh, it is how do i say i've been driving around for all these years in whole of all emirates and everything has been wonderful peaceful and i would love to say thank you thank you to the rulers the leaders and the institutes that is uh, in this country and the environment that is made is it's it's wonderful it's it's i cannot compare with any countries that i have visited now we will give you more opportunity or more chance to say for this country something good you celebrate with them a 30 years of uh, national day but after a days it's 52 years so you will ending with your words with national day words for the government yes. i want to thank ua the rulers and the leaders and every institute in this country and congratulations on this 52nd anniversary of UAE it is a wonderful experience for us as expatriates to live here and work and to understand i want to thank the people of UAE the nationalities the love and the affection they show us and that we are able to live and move among all of you all and thank you once again for allowing us as expert creators to come here to work and to succeed this is something that i want to thank you all fi kil imarat rush tasdik aqd wurush barru mudn wajbal haja tird